Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and since so long time I know I'm not doing commentary But as you guys can see there's a new tournament going on right now Which is Madrid Plaza Mare and you have to only put 20k coins Rules are simple as same as like the previous tournament And the price will be you have to put only 20k coins And if you're running 6 game in a row then you are getting 700k coins And that's amazing So you have to only put 20k coins And if you are somehow ending up in the first place I mean if you are losing the second round final Then you are getting around 70k as a second prize So yeah it's pretty amazing I know the queue is not that good It's a simple design queue And I also know that it will not going to give us amazing stats So yeah I will be going to speed up the video and after that, I will be going to meet you into the quarterfinal of the second round. Till enjoy the sweet music. So yeah, now we are on to the quarterfinal of to the second round and I will be going to use a random break. I know I have been searching for new breaks but I found this one. Look at this. We will be going to pot around two or maybe three balls with this break. This break is amazing. I am using this break since so long time with my Archangel Q and at this point I think we have to go for solids and I'm also skeptic about the green ball of mine. And I don't know if it's going on to the bottom left pocket, but I will try to move the green ball with the help of, I think, we can pot the green onto the bottom left pocket. Just wait for a while and yeah, I think we can pot the ball onto the bottom left pocket. And at the same time, I have to move my purple ball because we can only pot the purple ball onto the bottom left pocket. And if, if you're not touching the purple ball, I will be going to use right spin. Oh my god. <laughs> and we failed so I have to put the purple ball onto the bottom right pocket because the bottom right pocket is the only pocket which can no still we have not touched the purple but I think we can put the purple ball oh yes we can put the purple ball I was thinking to go for a bank shot but no we can easily put the purple ball onto the bottom right pocket and yeah we are putting the yellow ball the same pocket and yes my opponent was on to the level 211 and he was be thinking like yeah he's saying good luck because he know that we are going on to the finals oh sorry semi-final of this oh my god i think we use too much power oh my god no he's saying good luck oh my god we use too much power so i will be Try to part the ball with double bank shot and I know that the purple will going to mess up and oh my god Did you guys have seen Oh my god this is a god shot and This was total luck guys I was not expecting to part the black ball onto the top right pocket with the help of purple ball of my opponents and this was a pure luck guys <laughs> and we somehow cleared the quarterfinal of the second round and let's go and play the semi-final
Oh wait, I think he's some sort of getting a tough situation to part the purple wall. And I know that purple will going to get in, but I have to see where the white ball. Yes, I was expecting this that the white ball will go onto the top middle pocket or maybe bottom middle pocket. But no, we ended up onto the bottom left pocket. And he also know that he messed up really bad. And he's saying good luck and oops because he know that we are going on to the final of the second round and I know I'm winning this game. I'm not calling it quickly but uh, let's go for a bank shot for this green one. Because I know whenever I play, I don't know whenever I play and I do commentary, I mess up really bad. I don't know, I, I'm not focused while I'm doing commentary. So that's why you, you guys have seen that I am not doing bank shot uh, whenever I'm uh, doing commentary. So yeah, this is a very... I mean, we are not focused while we are doing commentary, so that's why I try to play direct as much as possible while I'm doing commentary. So at this point, we are having three ball onto the table, and yeah, he's saying you are awesome. I don't know for what reason he said because we are playing normally, and now we ended up properly for the black ball. Uh, sorry for the brown ball, and in the end, oh, he's saying I was so lucky. I don't know. He's following us or he's distracting us and yeah he quit the game after saying I was so lucky. So yeah let's go and play the final and the last game of the <laughs> Madrid Plaza Mare. And I don't know if we are going to win this game or not but let's see and I, I think we are getting the break. <laughs> yes we are getting the break. Let's go for the same break as we did in the previous game and I know that this is the final and i'm getting 700k coins but the good thing is that if you are on low level i mean if you're not having good coins if you're only having around 50 or 60k coins you can try your luck on this tournament and if you're somehow winning the tournament you are having around 700k coins and at the same time you'll be going to get the queue i know the queue don't have good stats because the tournament queue don't give us good uh, stats and we are so unlucky in the break that we are not parted a single ball and this dude is on level 244 and I don't know the black ball will going to create problem in the end but let's find out what this dude will going to do about the black because he is choosing I mean he have chosen the oh my god look at the level of this dude he is on level 244 and he missed a simple shot Let's go and put this ball onto the top left pocket because I know this ball is not going well onto the bottom right or left pocket. And that was a perfect shot. And we also moved the brown ball. I'm afraid about the... Should I go for a bank shot for the brown? I don't know man. This is final and I don't want to risk. Look at my purple, look at my red, <laughs> look at my blue ball. All the three balls are messed up and I have no choice to go for a combination shot. I will be going to part my... I have to perfectly align in order to part the... Yes. And yeah, we ended up very badly. So yeah, we can part the brown, I think. I have to see brown is... No, the brown is not going. So I have to part the... I have to use full stun shot because I really want to move a purple ball. Or maybe the red and yeah, with it. <laughs> and now I think we are getting an angle for the brown. I am so worried about the brown because the brown will going to create. No, we are not getting an angle. We are not even touching. No, we are touching. But no, we are not getting an angle to part the brown onto the bottom right pocket. I have to go for the purple. And if I'm doing, I have to use full stun shot because I, I really want to touch my uh, blue and the red at the same time. The stun shot work in an amazing way. Alright, so now what should I do about the brown? The brown is in very bad position. <laughs> I don't know why my opponent is going every time waiting for your opponent's response problem and now we are back. Okay, let's spot on the left pocket and <laughs> I have to see that the brown, we are getting an angle for brown or not. If we are not getting an angle, then we have to forcefully play the red onto the bottom middle pocket or onto the bottom left pocket yes we are getting an angle but we have to end up properly in order to part the red ball because i am afraid that if the yellow is going to touch the cue ball no 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 we ended up amazingly to be honest this was my fourth attempt to 
win this tournament and yeah we ended up properly and we are winning this game guys i know i will not going to do anything bad in here and yes we are winning this game and look at this again waiting for your opponent response problem and the black will be going on to the top right pocket and i have to admit that this was the intense game i have played in this madrid tournament and yeah we won the game also we got around 700k coins and yeah we also got the queue and we also got the Madrid Plaza Mayor Cup award. So let's go and find out the queue which we got. I think it will be a Madrid queue. I don't know. Let's find out the name of the queue. Only one force, one aim and three spin and zero time. I know that the tournament queues don't give us good uh stats but anyways so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe now for more amazing eight ball pool videos i will be going to meet you in my next videos peace out